What's up guys? Canceling Garage back with another video. This is going to be another episode of me wrapping my car in rose gold. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at the end of the video. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one after this. Peace. What's up YouTube? Cancel Lamp Garage back with another video. Uh, today we're going to do the door jams on my uh, car. I didn't want to wrap it rose gold because I didn't want to waste the material. On top of that, I don't know how well it works on the contours of the door jam. So I'm going to wrap it gloss black. So I want you guys to know that I'm going to be doing probably like pieces by pieces rather than doing it all in one piece. Uh, that would require taking the doors off. Um, as you can see right here, this is actually still blue as well. And I'm actually thinking about wrapping the insides of the door uh, with scrap pieces of rose gold, if I have any. And um, do the inside door jams in gloss black. But if I don't have enough material, I'm probably going to end up doing the insides of the door in gloss black as well. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so before I start, there are some things to address. I do have um, a button here for... Um, um, uh, the center letting all the doors open. I do have a cap here as long as the hinge I have some little plastic tools and this rubber that needs to come off and the little plastic thing on the bottom here Quite easy to remove um, As you can see so Pop that off bring it to the side um, Now I'm gonna remove the seal Just gonna take it down just that much because this is this whole entire section here is gonna be one piece and up here across is gonna be another piece. Now we gotta remove these plastics right here. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up with some adhesive cleaner um, just to get rid of all the grease and stuff. And then I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol. Just a little bit of grease where the uh, rubber seal sits. I'm going to get rid of that so it doesn't contaminate the vinyl when I lay it down. Once that's done, I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol. Mist it. And wipe away any more grease, dirt, contaminant, whatever. Okay, so now next. I have to actually measure to see how much I have to cut out. So I can't just simply just do this at eight inches right here and be okay. I have to actually measure down this way, which is about three plus four and a half plus two. So um, five, we're looking at nine to 10 inches instead of the eight originally. So. I just want to see how far I want to go down uh, this pillar. All right, we're going to do five feet by one feet, just so we have enough. Uh, now I'm going to actually lay the uh, knifeless tape down. So I'm using wrap cut instead of knifeless tape. Um, like I said in the, my last videos, I'm trying to get rid of it. I have too much wrap cut. So, still does the same thing. Uh, just a little more difficult. You can't start it like you do knifeless tape, or at least for me, it doesn't work. Just remember, when using knifeless tape, you always want to give yourself about four inches, top and bottom, on where it's going to stop. So now we have that. We're going to lay down the vinyl. It is a five foot roll, so we're gonna measure one feet by five feet for this. I'm using a zippy, it's just easier to use. Um, I could use a blade and do it like I used to, but it is quite dangerous, especially if I'm working by myself. Well, it's gonna be a little tricky because it's gotta curve down, so um, since I'm positioning it this way right now, it's gonna go straight down and have like a big bunch in the middle, so I'm gonna have to tilt this a certain way. Okay, 
There we go. So I'm just gonna go with the curvature of um, the door jam. So now we're gonna go and slowly work in it um, using a little bit of heat, uh, using a wrap glove and just take your time with it. Um, I haven't done a door jam before, so you're doing, you're kind of like watching it with me. A little difficult with my door right here behind me. Um, I could unbolt it and just push it aside, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna try to get the best footage I can, and if I can't, then I'm sorry. So uh, let's go do this together. Okay, so I'm getting a bunch of um, uh, tension on the bottom of the door jam. So what I'm gonna do is just hit the knife list tape all the way to where the, um, the bunch is coming from. Uh, so I can release some of that and get some slack. So knife list tape is, or wrap cut rather, it's quite easy. Um, all you have to do, well for me, I'm gonna use a blade. I'm gonna set it, just trim, on the red tape, like just cut it right through in half. Push down where you cut. Okay. And it's gonna it's gonna lay flat for the rest of the tape, but then the one you cut is gonna be loose with the actual uh, wrap cut tape. So or filament wire. It's gonna break it. One steady motion. All the way down. I'm going to stop down there midway where the tension is and leave this sticking on the door or quarter panel. Pull that back. I'm going to get my the red tape, pull the tape out to release the vinyl from the surface. But again, stop where you start with the wire there. Also tack that to the uh, quarter panel. Press down the, uh, the vinyl where you cut. Again, I don't like wrap cut too much. Um, it actually makes the vinyl kind of uh, jagged. No matter how many times I've used it on the chrome, on the regular, on the edges here, they're actually quite jagged. But it's fine. Like I said, I want to get rid of it quick. So, I'm um, gonna go ahead and finish up the bottom here and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So here's the finished product. Looks pretty good. Got good coverage. Like I said, I'm gonna do another piece on the top. But for now, I'm loving the black. It's not as bad from far away when you open the door, you know? The whole point of having the gloss black to kind of keep it clean and subtle. The blue is just an eyesore, so pretty much doing a full color change at this point. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, couldn't get a lot of shots in. Um, just the angle of this area is just so difficult. Um, but I'm going to definitely do more coverage on the car and definitely maybe uh, try to document it and post it online. Uh, next, I'm going to be doing these, I think. That definitely had to require taking off the door panel. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, segment of me wrapping my car.